Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are headed into the red, white, and blue thrift store in Patterson, New Jersey. Um, it is midweek, it is Wednesday, so I figure maybe this place won't be as packed as the weekend. This place is always packed. I actually got a phenomenal parking spot considering like people just usually, even me, usually have to drive around, drive around, drive around and wait for someone to leave. Uh, I got really lucky today. Anyway, this place is slammed as usual. So let's go see if we can find anything good to resell. Look at this guy. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to try to park there or what's going on. I'm telling you, the parking situation around here is nuts. And it looks like uh, white, yellow, red, green are on sale today. So everything except for blue and gray, rose and powdery. Of course, it's blue. Twilight lavender. Happy holiday. Here's candles. Puppy breath. <laughs> I have to give that one a little sniff. It does not smell a thing like puppy breath. This is one of those pour over coffee carafes. Everything in here is tagged blue, blue, blue. Sonoma. This is a handmade piece right here. No, no, no. Oh, France. It's actually. Pretty nice. Look at all these little art glass things. Threshold. It's a tree. It's a blue tree. This is kind of nice. I don't know. I'm gonna keep looking for a minute. Clear glass section. Wow, this snow globe has a film inside of it. Halloween lantern. Well, this is kind of neat. This is like a luminary candle holder. I think it's definitely missing a lid. Someone mentioned that with that last snowman I picked up at the Goodwill that it may have been missing a lid, and I think I think that they were right. So I have not listed it yet until I can find another piece like it. FTD. It's a Lennox piece for $3.99. Okay, wow, look at this. This is so cool. $3.99 Hurdy Gurdy U Gears. Okay, that's gonna go in my cart. That is really awesome. Wow, that is so cool. I guess it's just a decorative piece. It's got so many intricate intricate details that I can't tell if it's missing anything, but I'm definitely gonna put that in my cart for $3.99. That is pretty darn neat. Wow, what is this? A little uh, bird feeder sort of thing. Oh, it's handmade. Someone handmade that out of like a planter and some twine or something. I don't know why it's given the, uh... <laughs> I don't know why it's given the six o'clock notice because we're like six hours away. What is this? Oh, that's like a gnome. West Elm. West Elm gnome cookie jar. And it's $5.99 and it's green, so it's half off. So we are going to put that in the cart. Going to put that in the cart. This looks like it's handmade. This is that Star Wars. That Star Wars guy. <laughs> I'm so good with names, aren't I? Some kind of an elephant. Oh, cat piece. Sweet thoughts. What are these little bags? Oh, they're evil one. Alright. Oh, little Fenton basket. Happy 40th anniversary. It's $2. I don't know that I should get that, but I might for $2. I mean, 40th anniversary, I don't know that that's gonna sell for a lot. 
Seaside Heights, New Jersey. This owl is pretty interesting. Genuine alabaster. It'll be a dollar fifty. Oh, unfortunately, the beak is chipped, and so is the bottom. But that is that's really nice. They would have gotten that. Have a little angel left in August. Is it broken? It's probably broken. It is definitely broken. You always have to look these over a few times because they're usually always broken when you find them in a thrift store especially because they're going into the donation bin and everything else. I don't know what this thing is. Some kind of decoration. Our America candle holder. <laughs> Busy. I like that. It's like a light. <laughs> Should get that and turn it on when people are bothering me. And that is a little cheap plastic uh, bouquet. It's not. It's not glass like I thought it was. The blue glass vases. Denmark. Price is like ripped off of that though. Unfortunately. This is kind of nice with the applied handle. This feels pretty lightweight. Let's see what else do we have here. Let's see what these guys are. Oh, these are like the kissing like Eskimo things, they have the magnets so their heads stick together. Kind of neat. Ooh, two of these, they look like they're handmade. All right, I'm not seeing much else in this section. Handmade in Italy. Kind of neat. Mm, let's see here. Candy dish is kind of neat. Made in China. A little beagle plaque back there. Some more wooden things. Mm, okay, we're gonna keep looking. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna really go through the picture frames. The bagged area, one of the bagged areas, anyway. Air fresheners, resistance bands, Duncan yo yo keychain. How much is this bag? Ooh, there's a couple of them in there. Personal alarm, pound cake. Oh, that's like a bath and body um, thing. $3.99 for these Dunkins. Duncan Imperial Yo Yo Keychain. I'm going to put that in my cart just for a minute. I mean, I've sold Duncan Yo Yo's before. These are like air tag cases. Let's see if there's any air tags in here. I don't see any. I don't know what these are. $2.99. You never know what you're gonna find in these bags. Some kind of an owl. Such an assortment. I like the bags of flatware. Home is where the Hallmark Channel movies are. I used to watch some of those. I kind of gave up on them this year, though. I don't think they're my thing anymore. <laughs> Candles. Photo albums. Oh, I just spotted these Libby glasses. 
$2.99 a piece, but I'm going to grab those. A little pricier than I'd like to spend on them, but I'm going to get those. The wine don't do as good as like the shorter ones, but they'll, they'll be okay. Okay, we're in the mud, the mug section. I just untied my shoe. I'm gonna have to... Cancer, imaginative and moody. <laughs> it's like one positive trait, one negative trait. I think they should make that a little more positive. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna take it. Oh, that's an anthro mug. It's got a lot of wear to the gold trim, though. I feel like... I don't know. I think I'm gonna skip skip that one. I usually do sell those initial ones, though, for, you know, like, $12, $14. It's got dishwasher wear. Let's see if we can find anything else decent. little miniature cups. Avon. What's over here? I thought maybe this was Nordic wear, but it's not. It's Chicago metallic. So I'm not gonna buy that. This is Nordic Wear Frozen. It's kind of interesting. I might, I might give that a look up. So I just checked out these, um, like Duncan things, and I think there's actually three of them in there, uh, and they look like uh, I can get $13.99 with free shipping. So for this whole bag, I think I am going to get. I am going to get that for $3.99. Super easy to store, ship, list, all that good stuff. Not a crazy high profit, but it just adds to the daily, uh, the daily numbers. Lots of different pie plates over here. I don't think there's anything super crazy though. So we're going to keep moving on. The Pioneer Woman storage. I thought they were, um, like plastic, but they're not. They're actually glass. I should check out some of the clear glasses over here. Because, uh, we may have some nice crystal. Alright, we have more bags over here. Hallmark cards. Hallmark cards. Mm, lots of decor. Ooh. Ooh, look at all these ornaments. Ooh, let's see how much these are per bag. $3.99. Holy freaking moly, we're getting them. You know me and my hallmarks. $3.99. Yeah, we'll pick through these. I probably should have brought in an extra bag, but I didn't because... I am superstitious. <laughs> I feel like when I bring a lot of bags, I don't find anything. I can't keep putting these on top of that wooden thing, so I'm gonna have to be careful, but these look like a lot of good ones in here. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. $3.99 per bag? I need to rearrange this cart real quick. I just don't want this getting smashed. I still haven't looked this little thing up, but I just love it. For $3.99, I'm probably gonna get it anyhow. Ooh, look at that. Look at that Disney ornament right there. I might have to get that bag just for that. Wow, that is beautiful. How much is this bag? 
see if I can get it off of this hook. Oops. More hallmarks. How do they look? I can't tell. $3.99. This one's $2.99. I'm going to get that just for that ornament. Actually, maybe not. It looks like some of the jewels are missing. Okay. Let me take a peek at these ornaments. This one actually might not be worth it. Interesting. Let me see what this one is. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this bag. This doesn't stand out to me as hot sellers but I think there may be a couple in the other bags there's actually a ton of bags here uh, only thing is I don't know if these are used if they're new I don't know like what the deal is with these but we're gonna take a chance for $3.99 there's gotta be there's gotta be something good in these soulful saxophone uncle sam nutcracker i don't think i'm gonna get that one either i'm gonna keep looking because these bags are just all packed in here some gift bags that's a nice selection of gift bags for christmas Oh, I wonder how much that is. I just can't really go wrong with, with this stuff. $2.99. $2.99. You'd be spending... For just two of them, you'd be spending that. Or even one of them in some cases. And I know my mom can use those too. So I might get those. There's a bunch of other hallmarks. These are dated. 2006, 2007, United We Stand. I think for $3.99 we're going to get that one. Also, I am filling up this cart already. Holy moly. I gotta move this guitar. This looks like a cart that they're just putting stuff out. It's very pretty. Oh my goodness. These look like Libby. Life is good. Dog bowl. I'm still using his, um, I'm still using his Christmas bowl, so I might get this for him. All right, I don't know, you know what? I think I'm gonna put these bags back. I just, I know that something like this is just gonna be a pain in the butt for me till next year. Like, I'm probably gonna lose them and forget about them. All right, so just went through the jeans real quick on the way to, um, on the way to the linens and I found these Good Americans, Good Petite Straight. They'll be $4.99. Yeah, go ahead. And also found, you're welcome. Also found these vintage Jordache jeans. These things look minty. Like, I don't think they've ever been worn. Uh, we got a little horse embroidered. These will be $5 as well. 36, 36. So are these women's? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to get them. These I'm going to grab for my mom. She's always looking for jeans, and they're a size short, a medium short, so I think they'll be okay for her, but I'm not entirely sure. But if not, I'll just donate them, so I'm going to take those, put those back for her. Okay, let's see what we have going on here in the linen section. Um, Chaps Euro Sham, $4.99. I'm gonna grab this. That's funny because I actually used to have that comforter. 
$4.99 and not on sale, but I'm still going to grab it because that stuff is sold at Kohl's, but a lot of times it um, gets into demand and it sells decently well. All right, chair covers. Sometimes you got to really dig into these. This is Ikea. I've sold these before. I don't see a price on this though. Oh, there it is, $9.99 blue. So not gonna get those because they are not on sale. All right, she just put those down. So they all have blue tags. It's like a paint by number on a cloth. So that's odd. Scraps of fabric, some just random odds and ends. Not a whole lot in this section today. This sweater is kind of cool, like a vintage short sleeve. It's got a lot of wear to it, though. I think it's centigrade. I think that's what it says. I don't know. I think it's kind of, kind of neat, but I'm not gonna grab it. I would probably get this Eddie Bauer vest, but it's got a, a hole in it, unfortunately. Mm on two hangers and this one's on half a hanger right. Romeo and Juliet Couture $105 half off oh this is kind of neat too <coughs> excuse me knit sweater we have a free people Got a lot of runs and stuff in it. Urban cocoa. That's kind of cute. Pink poodle. Got a little, looks like a boutique tag. I don't know. Also kind of looks like a Kohl's tag. Alrighty. I don't think I'm gonna Stay much longer in this store. I pretty much only wanted to check out the hard goods. Oh, we have more baggies here. This is a dog section. Oh, I'm actually gonna grab these. I'm finding lots of stuff for myself lately. $3.99. These Nyla bones are so expensive. These are probably like 13, 14, 15 bucks in the store, and my dogs like these. So for $3.99, I'm gonna grab those. All right, I just found a couple bagged great courses and I've never seen them like this in like this paper kind of thing. Looks like all the discs are in there. I'm thinking maybe I can even lot this stuff together. I think, um, I'm not sure like what the subjects and everything are, but I think I might, I might take a chance on these. I'm going to put them in my cart for now. All right, so I just came over to peep the shoes. And these are actually a nice pair of Chacos, like very minimally worn for $9.99. Although that thing going through the shoe is probably going to damage it. But I think I'm still going to take a chance on them. Oh, and then we have all these size nine. I actually think I have the same pair listed right now, but I don't think that they are in this large of a size. Made in China, that is correct. These look, these look good. So I think I'm gonna get these two pair. I am just nervous for when that gets unhooked from there that it definitely put a hole right through the freaking leather these are such a nice pair what size are these these are a nine i wonder if the same person donated them they have nice taste in shoes these are both blue tags so they're not half off i don't really want kids shoes let me keep moving tight moving through here. Very gently used bands. 
1999 blue they're not on sale kind of a nice kind of a nice boot looks like it's probably generic Steve Madden Vince Camuto see-through boots so you can see what color socks you're wearing I guess <laughs> Fisher, Steve Madden again. These look like Skechers. Seven ninety nine. Uh, Seven ninety nine green. These are in really good condition. I'm actually gonna get these. I've sold this pair before. Skechers always sell well for me. This is like twenty five bucks right here, at least. Good condition and no security tag. <laughs> Cole Haan Grand. These are a nice pair of boots. $25. Oh, that's a shame because these are a nice pair of boots. Eight and a half. Alrighty, guys. So that was a lot of fun. I spent $127 there and got a very full cart for that price. Um, so we'll do a quick recap when I get back to the warehouse. Um, I did pick a couple other things up and I did put those Chacos back. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the, the recap as soon as I get back. Okay guys, so it's the next day now, but we're gonna recap this thrift haul. So yeah, $127, it's like actually $127 Twenty-seven and change, but I already forget what the change was. So anyhow, this guy has a couple like gray surface marks. I'll probably be able to get them off. But anyway, this is West Elm. This. I'm like, wait a minute. Is there a noise happening here? No, I think that was just the lid moving a little bit. Anyway, green was half off, so ended up being two ninety nine for this gnome. Is that a gnome or is that just a Santa? You know what? I was trying to look up comps on this and I was um, looking up by gnome because look at that giant beard. But maybe it's a Santa. What do you guys think this is? I don't know. I'm going to have to, I'm going to untape this lid and make sure that there's no cracks on the inside because now this jiggling is making me wonder here. Ooh, I hate all of this tape to be honest because it sticks to the item and then it takes forever to scrub it off which is kind of annoying how do you guys feel about thrift tape oh it's good it's good it's good woohoo okay so it just needs to be washed up a little bit Anyway, let me know what you think this guy is. Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Let me know if you think he is a Santa or a gnome. Um, we'll see. I'm going to have to figure it out before I list him. Like I said, I did not find any comps for gnome, but maybe that's because he's not a gnome. Anyhow, <laughs> moving to the next bag. Look at these nice little, um, they had these bags. Jersey is bagless, but now... They have these at the red, white, and blue at that location anyway, and they're 50 cents. So I did take one of my own bags in and I ended up needing to buy three of these, which is kind of ridiculous because I have tons of bags, but I just have like this crazy superstition that like, if I bring too many bags in, I won't find anything. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but like with the Goodwills, when I take bags in, I find nothing. I go in empty handed, I find a cart full. Super ridiculous, but does that happen to anyone else? I don't know. Anyhow, next bag, I will reuse these. They are pretty darn durable, I guess. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if every location is gonna do that. Uh, I already gave my mother the jeans I purchased for her and I took out the little dog Nyla bones, gave those to the dogs and threw crumbs life is good dog bowl in the dishwasher. So those items 
are not going to be included in this haul. Uh, okay. So I got, I got these, these, these were kind of wrapped up in, um, I think maybe, maybe my mom's jeans. Oh no. You know what? I actually have two vests that I thought I was going to keep for myself. And I took them home too, to try them on. And I don't know. I think that, I think at least one of them is going to end up getting listed, but I don't have those here either. Darn it. I wanted to bring those and put them in the hall and I totally forgot. Anyway, this is the stuff that's going on eBay Two Libby, um, like celestial moon stars, wine glasses. These will probably sell. And I paid, paid up for these two 99 a piece. Uh, these I will list together for probably about $39.99 plus shipping. Uh, the coffee mugs do really well if you find uh, the coffee mugs in this pattern. I'll put those up there. Okay, these, I was kind of like confused. I didn't think Jordache made men's jeans, but apparently they do. Um I remember like a couple of years ago watching like a young girl do, was it like a TikTok or something? It might've been on TikTok and she was calling Jordache, 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 or Jordache. <laughs> I think it was Jordache, Jordache jeans. <laughs> it, that, it was just so funny. Anybody remember that? Um, I don't know if she was like being serious because she was so young and wasn't around for you know, Jordache days or whatever. Um, or if she was just making a joke. I don't know. Anyway, these look like they are, these things are crispy. I don't think they've ever been worn. Like you still see the little white things from like the label. Um, even though that, that could still be there. I've ripped like paper labels off and it's still been there, but it, it'll eventually go away with wear. Um, these might've been worn i'm not sure but they feel pretty i mean look they're even like creased like someone ironed them so maybe they were that way i don't know oh yeah i think someone did wear them because you know what um i think a lot of these from very brief research i think they were originally sold unhemmed and it looks like these have been hemmed because normally if you see like jeans in a store they don't have like a big, like they're, that section's not that large. I, there's probably a technical term for, for that, like that seamstresses would know. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going to have to measure these. They say that they're 36 by 36, but that's probably untrue um, considering they've been hemmed. Anyway, they have this cool horse logo on the pocket and on the back. These ended up being half off. They were $4.99 and... Prices are all over the place on these vintage Jordache jeans, but I am going to say at least 40 bucks on these plus shipping. I'm certainly going to shoot for higher. You guys know me. Okay. And then I got these good Americans also half off. So they were $4.99. They are good American, good petite, straight size eight. Look like they're in pretty decent shape. I don't see any major issues with them. Good American is Chloe Kardashian's brand. These definitely look like they are petite. That's for sure. Uh, not sure the comps on those right off the moment. Right off the moment. Right off the bat. Uh, these are. This this was a total gamble. I spoke about great courses before in one of my what sold videos. I do pick them up uh, if I find them at yard sales for like a dollar and if they're sealed. Um, but they have like a subscription service now. So um, it's just not as profitable as it used to be. I do still sell them when they're new and sealed. I don't get a huge amount for them. Um, you know, or if there's like a big lot of them, even if they're open, if they're like cheap enough. These were $7.99 a bag. But I've never seen them come this way in this like paper folder type thing. So I decided that I wanted to check these out. 
And I think they are, uh, now as I'm opening them up, see that's the thing with this bag stuff. You don't know what you're getting because you can't open it. If you open it, it's like void. <laughs> the price is like voided, you know? So it does appear that these are maybe part of sets that were, you know, like the slide out of a sleeve and the sleeves maybe aren't here. This one's Great Courses, Masterpieces of Ancient Greek Literature. This one here is Thoreau and the Transcendentalist Movement. Emerson, Thoreau, and the Transcendentalist Movement. But this is disc 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. So clearly the first, like where are the first discs? Hopefully they're in here. So I don't really know how I'm going to sell these. Um, I'm going to have to see what all is here. I might just throw this in a lot, to be honest, just to kind of bang it out, get it out of here, even though the lot might not make any sense because it's going to be a bunch of different uh, topics and everything. But I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I did buy two bags of those. So I knew that was a gamble. I knew that was a gamble when I picked them up. Okay, taking a little bit long on this haul. So let me speed it up a little. Uh, this I thought was so cool. I did give this a quick look up and it appears that this is a kit. Um, so someone put this together. I imagine that it took quite a while. It is a U gears hurdy gurdy. Um, the kits are selling for like 60, 70, uh, different kinds. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 50. I'm going to have to look it up again, but this one's already put together little glue right here you can see um i think this thing is beautiful though like look at that wood i just i think it's nice i think this thing is so cool apparently it is supposed to have a stand which i don't have a stand for it but you know what what did i pay for this thing 3.99 um it does have their little thrift mark on the back which is gonna stay there i'm not even gonna try to try to mess with that oh this is cool this opens up and you can see like the different mechanisms inside that like kind of move a little bit anyway since this is already put together and everything i'm not going to list this like super crazy but i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna list this for like 25 bucks plus shipping i think it's a really cool display piece no matter what um so yeah I think that's super cool. Okay, then I did pick this basket up for $2. Uh, this 40th anniversary Fenton basket. A little wrapping paper inside of it. Ended up being $2. I typically don't pick these up. I'm, not, I'm still not quite sure why I did, but I did. Okay, then I did get the little bag here. <laughs> I know this is like so much junk isn't it but these these will sell i know like these will definitely sell and there's three of these so even at 13.99 a piece with free shipping that's like a little stocking stuffer there's there's profit on this 3.99 bag these are so easy to store to list to ship like all of it then there's also what is this mini kawaii puzzle cube so that's like a take on the Rubik's Cube. It's a keychain. Well, I don't know what I'll do with that. Uh, this right here is Pocket Back Pals Bath and Body Works. Um, I mean, I'm not going to probably do anything with this, but throw it out. It kind of smells good. Strawberry pound cake, but it's been used. You can tell it's like coming coming down through the lid. I But I'm trying to figure out what this is. Like there's like an extra piece here. I'm not sure what that what that is for. That's gonna go in the garbage. His love brings us together. Looks like a used keychain. That's gonna go in the garbage. Um, this is nice. This looks like a Delft blue. I don't know. Would you, I guess this is like an ornament. Maybe I'll end up listing that a little Delft blue Christmas tree ornament. And then we have. Safe Sounds Personal Alarm. It says pull the tab out so it's ready to use. Let's let's see what this thing sounds like. 
So if somebody's like, <laughs> doesn't work. I don't even think you can push this thing. How are you supposed to use this thing? Pull out the plastic tab. I did that. Simply pull on the key ring and the alarm will activate. I'd have this thing going off all the time, to be honest, because, you know, I'd get it stuck on something. Oh boy. Now I'm like afraid if I pull on it. Oh, jeez, <laughs> That scared me. <laughs> uh, you actually do have to pull on it pretty darn hard. Um, I mean, this isn't a bad, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but it still scared me. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I don't know. Um, I know I'll accidentally pull this thing though. I'll definitely get it stuck somewhere. And it'll be like alarming. I'll be screaming louder than this thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But anyhow, moving on, moving on. I just said, hey, this is taking so long. I need to speed it up. And then I sit there for 12 minutes talking about this personal alarm. Okay, anyway. I got a ton of these Hallmark ornaments. I am not going to go through every bag. There are a ton of them in each bag. And each bag was $3.99. You cannot go wrong. Even if I would take these to the flea market and sell them for a dollar a box. I mean, in this one alone, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is crazy. Um, yeah, there's a ton of ornaments. I don't think that they're all going to be like winners by any means. Um, St. Joseph's Indian School, Indian Nativity. Let's open this one up. Um, it's, it's piqued my curiosity. So, yeah, I don't really know. I can't tell what all of these are. I will list some and I will probably just take some to the flea market. St. Joseph's Indian School, Little Nativity. Hmm. Okay. That's cute. Um, so yeah, I don't know, you know, that all of these are going to be like this little 1994 thing. I doubt that I will list that. Sweet Santa 2021. Hopefully, you know what I was thinking? I said to myself, hopefully these are in the box. Imagine, imagine opening these all and they're all empty boxes. This little guy is cute. So yeah, I will go through them. Um, and see what is going to be worth listing and what isn't going to be worth listing. But how fun is that? So I got one to this one does oh that's even got a harley one in there oh wow some of these i just can't see because they're facing each other so i don't know what they are um oh i want to open this one now too anyway this is the second bag branching out in style that's cute what's this what year is this one what's the year on this 2010 that's cute. That one's very cute. Tip Top Santa, South Pole Pals. Uh, decorating Snow Lady. She's super cute. So yeah, I, I'm excited to go through all these. That's a second bag. This is the third bag. The fourth bag. way to the window hmm. and the fifth bag so yeah I'm still in the Hallmark business uh, okay then I got this frozen Nordic wear baking dish for $4.99 I did not want to pick this up. I mean, I did want to pick it up, but I wanted to look it up before the before I left the store. Um, 
because now, now since that auction I went to, I'm like looking for Nordic wear. So I found some Nordic wear. The only thing is, I don't know what this one's worth. Uh, if I see a comp, which I'm sure I will, I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys, which uh, will be after the fact. Because right now at this very moment in time, I don't know what this thing could possibly be worth. But it's mine now. I got up there and I was like, oh man, I totally forgot to check this out. So I'll just buy it. This is a Chala handbag. I paid $7.99 for this guy, um, but it looks like I should be able to sell it for about uh, maybe $25, $30, considering it is new. It's just a crossbody bag. It is so cute. Look at this. Um, look at this little ladybug on it. It's small. I mean, you could definitely fit your phone. Um, and you know, a little bit of money or something like that. Great for yard sales. Uh, it's got a little handle. That's a very little handle. And then it's got the bigger one. Hopefully I can't tell if it's adjustable. Oh yeah, it is. It is adjustable. So you could wear it as a crossbody. Um, but yeah, I think these sell for like, yeah, cell phone crossbody Daisy. Yeah, I think these sell for like, I think when I looked them up briefly, I think they sell for like anywhere between like 27 and 35 maybe. Um, but yeah, I just think this is so cute. It's got like a polka dot lining, little um, spots for cards, and even the front if you just want to like toss something in there. So cute. Very nice leather work. Uh, so yeah, got that. Did pick up these Skechers winter boot, I guess you could say. I've sold these before. This is a size 10. Um, paid $4 for these after the discount. This I paid full price for, $4.99, Chaps Brittany uh, Eurosham. <clears throat> Eurosham, excuse me. Uh, almost done here. And then I got... These are Kaiser, I think it's called. Is it Kaiser? Kasker? Kasky. <laughs> these are like soccer figures. So these are like normally with like a whole game set. I did not see any like loose, just like this, like replacement kind of pieces. So I decided to pick this bag up for $2.99 and I'll probably list these for like $25 for this lot. Okay, and last but not least, a pair of Rothy's. These are so nice. I love the animal prints, of course. These are a size nine. I do have a pair of these listed in a smaller size. These um, are legit Rothy's. They do have the hard sole on this particular pair, as with the other pair that I have too. Um, but yeah, these are these are very nice. I paid $7.99 for these. These were not on sale. So yeah, very nice pair of Rothy's. So yeah, that is going to wrap it up. That's going to wrap up my haul. Um, it was fun. It was just a fun day to get out. I definitely filled my cart up. Uh, like I said, I do have some things, part of that 127 haul, some things are at home, like my vests um, and my mom's pants and my dog's bowl and toys. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this thrift with me video. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, comment, Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload and until next time Bye